since the announcement of the drastic cuts that include the elimination of the adult education division, students, educators, education activists have launched efforts to stop the elimination of programs, in particular of the whole division of adult education, which today serves 37% of students uh, in LAUSD. And nevertheless, accounts for only 2% of the budget. This means that a budget that at some point provided for classes around the clock seven days a week could be cut to zero. Teachers and students are saying they won't give up their life-saving programs without a fight. Should the community at large be fighting alongside students and teachers to keep adult education alive? Who should pay for it? Can LAUSD school board just give up educating adults after receiving funds to run them for years? Today we're going to look at what educators, students, and activists are doing and what they're planning to do to keep the heat on authorities and legislators to save adult education. It's a program which has served mainly of people of color, immigrants, and seniors. And our guests, I'd like to welcome in studio Steve Steinberg, who is a tenured adult education teacher at Kennedy San Fernando uh, Valley Community Adult School. Thank you so much. So glad to be here. Okay, thank you for joining us. And on the line with us, I'd like to welcome back to Sojourner Truth Jose Lada. He's a community organizer, adult education activist, and with Occupy. LAUSD, a grassroots campaign linking the 1% influence in privatizing public education, and he teaches at Santee High School. Jose Lara, welcome back. Okay, well, uh, Steve, let's start with you and tell us a bit about the history of adult education in Los Angeles and the need for it. Well, it, it goes back over 125 years, uh, which is a, quite a long history. Uh, there's such a, a great need for it. Uh, most of the classes we, we teach are uh, English ESL classes for immigrants to, to learn English, citizenship classes. Uh, we have uh, uh, classes for uh, uh, concurrent students, in other words, high school students that need to help finish their programs. Uh, we also have uh, classes for senior citizens. Uh, it really runs the gamut across the board. Yeah, and, and also prisons. Oh, there are programs in prisons. Absolutely, Is that yes. right? Yeah, okay. So, um, what is being proposed now? I mean, they're talking about eliminating the entire program. Yeah, what, what's, uh, uh, let me give you a little background if I can. Uh, the state gives money in what are they called categorical funding. And they did that, I think, in order to be sure that there would always be funds available for certain categories, like preschool and senior citizens and different programs. Because of the bad economy, what the legislature did was allow them to use the money however they wanted. Mm -hmm. and, and so, in other words, forgetting about these categorical funding, um, and that's why it's the first time you've ever heard of a, a threat to eliminate adult school. Up until now, it's always had its own category of funding. Uh, the, the, um, I think the school budget for the LAUSD, the entire budget, is over $6 billion. The adult education program is less than $120 million. Yeah. So it really, it's just, it sounds like a lot of money, of course, but still compared to the $6 billion, it's less than 2% of, the, of their budget. Yeah, and, and it provides for a, a, a wide swath of the community, uh, so it seems as though it really does a lot on very little. Well, and it seems like we're putting then the onus on the back of the people that can afford it the least. In other words, uh, like you say, immigrants, senior citizens, uh, young people. Uh, young parents, uh, these are the groups that, that need help, not <laughs> they shouldn't be balancing the budget on the backs of them, I think. Yeah, and uh, Jose, bringing you into this discussion, years ago before my daughter was born, actually, I worked in adult ed and as a teacher, you know, in adult ed at two different adult ed uh, schools. And uh, certainly understood a lot of my students were immigrants, um, you know, English as a second language. And what a motivated uh, group of yes. people, highly uh, motivated, very, very appreciative also of the teachers and of, of the work we're doing. So, Jose Lara, bringing you into this, this discussion, I mean, it's pretty shocking to think that the uh, entire adult ed program is under threat. But how are you balancing that, the demand to save adult ed, with the cuts happening in other parts of education? I read somewhere that even kindergarten might be under threat. Wow. 
Absolutely. Um, before we get to the recall campaign, though, I, I do want to um, talk with both of you, Steve uh, Steinberg, bringing you into this discussion. Who will be impacted? I mean, what, what's going to happen here it, it's, if uh, these cuts go through? Uh, the, if the cuts really go through, the, all the adult education centers all, uh, will close. And um, there will be no more adult education in Los Angeles. Yeah, so that, that huge job training program, you know, down down the tube. Also, now, we, we what about the populations of, of people who are impacted, though? Because these are populations that have other challenges to deal with. Absolutely. Uh, you know, whether they're, they're immigrants or, or people who are in, in prison, people, um, uh, adults who are trying to get some kind of remediation, perhaps learn to read for the first time citizenship classes. Does this seem like a kind of a discrimination against some sectors? Of the population. I absolutely do think it is. Uh, also, where, where do these people go to, to get a high school diploma, if not to, to these programs? I, I don't know of any other uh, programs that supply what we supply, uh, helping dropouts to come back and, and get, get a, a diploma, uh, helping people to learn English for free. You know, mm -hmm. it was, we, all, we all say we want all everyone to learn English, but our, why, what, how, if we're not teaching them, where do we expect them to learn it? Um, senior citizens, uh, I personally teach in the older adults program. Our program is, is majorly targeted, even when they talk about maybe some of it will 